what we're going to be doing today is this dresser, which, number one, I guess I should have the camera a little bit pointed more so towards the dresser than me. But anyways, so um, the first thing that we're going to do with this dresser is wipe it down. Let me see if I can put the camera down. And my little bumpy one. Okay, that'll work. All right. So, this dresser is going to be in Riley's room. Um, what I'm going to do first is I got like a little cloth. Um, actually, this is one of my husband's tank tops that was dirty. So, I just like cut it up and used it. So, you can use this, you can use a rag, you can use whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe, um, just wipe this down, make sure there's no dust or anything like that on it, and then I'm gonna let it dry. And then after I let it dry, um, then we can start painting, okay? So, basically I already put the soap and water on here. You don't have to drench it. So I'm um, just gonna wipe it down. Make sure you get really good like areas where there might be some type of sticky residue or something you just want to make sure you get all of that out. so I see I just noticed over here on this side that a piece of the wood has chipped off unfortunately on the dresser so it fits right here on this piece. Okay, so this piece right here kind of came off, chipped off a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just actually literally gonna glue that back um, in this spot with some super glue or wood glue um, and we'll be good to go. Um, so that's no biggie or anything like that, but if you have any chips or anything like that, you know, you do want to do a wood filler or something like that to get rid of those marks. Now over here, you just want to make sure like in the crevices and stuff that you have taken off majority of any type of dirt or anything that might be on the piece. This part right here, um, I can sand that off or I can continue to wipe it off. But as you can see, if I scrub it, it's gonna take some time. So I'm probably just gonna um, just sand it off just a, just a little bit. All right. All right, so I have my chalk brush. Um, it's not any salon chalk brush. Like I said in my previous video, um, you can get the any salon chalk brush, but you really don't have to because I got this one off of Amazon and it works perfectly fine. And I did see that Michaels and Joann's fabrics and things like that have um, the chart brushes as well, which I'm going to go pick one up that was bigger than this one. Because as you can see, this is a little small, like medium kind of size. But anyway, so some people like you can take the drawers out and um you know paint that way but I'm actually gonna keep the drawers in and paint that way um, and then when I get to like the edges and stuff kind of paint it off okay you know what I changed my mind I'm gonna take the drawers out and paint them separately so let's go I'm gonna take these out Just gonna focus on everything else. 
And I'm just gonna keep this, like I said, in here because I don't feel like unscrewing screws and all that. That's just too much. Okay. Okay, and then I'm just gonna get go right there and take stick that. Pour some of the anise along the paint out and mix it with water. You can do that, or you can um, dip from the paint itself and put it on. That's what I tend to do because I just feel like it's a little bit easier, less messy, and then I feel like um, I'm not really wasting paint. That's just me, so whatever. But if I do feel like I want to stretch, you know, my paint some more. Then I'll probably get like a plastic um, container, pour, not a plastic container, but like a plastic plate or something, pour some of the paint in, and um, kind of create a box and do it that way to kind of thin out the paint. But a little bit of this paint goes a long way, and especially when you don't have to do a lot of um, sanding and everything like that, or you don't have to do a lot of different coats. Okay. Vlog, check out what we're doing. This is a project that never seems to include me. What are you um, I know you saw the kitchen table. I've completed 65% of that project, despite of what you may have heard. Um, today I will be picking up the sander. You definitely did not use it. And the saw to complete the palette that you see over there to the left of me. And um, we're going to get started on that project and we're going to build the wall in Baby Riley's room. Um, I try to keep you updated throughout the process. Um, so stay tuned. Mamba out. <laughs> Don't get my stuff anymore. <laughs> Mamba out. started I was like um this dresser wasn't gonna take that long and it is because on, honestly this is a big it's not a big dresser but it is a big dresser so I don't even know how like I can't even imagine doing those big behind dressers because I would be like because it's it, it, it's it's intense it's hot dresser this is uh, the piece that was at the bottom both of these pieces um so we're gonna spray paint them um this metallic gold color and i'm just gonna do one coat of it and then i'm gonna let it dry and then i'm gonna do another coat Right, so on the inside of each of these drawers, I am putting this adhesive paper. I'm not sure if it would be considered contact paper, but I got it from TJ Maxx a long time ago. And you just cut it to what size you need and you can stick them inside of a cabinet or drawer or whatever. So that's what I'm doing here with this design. All right, and here we have our finished product. I put all the knobs back on, the accent piece at the bottom, the knob in the middle here I got from Hobby Lobby and it matches perfectly with the flow of the dresser i love this color it is the annie salon antoinette chalk paint depending on the lighting this dresser can look have a pink 
um, hue to it or it can have a purple hue to it and it goes perfectly in her room um, the last little thing that I need to do is of course wax a piece but other than that I love the way this piece turns out so if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and thanks for watching